Horizon 2020 is the European Union's research and innovation funding program, which started in 2014 and will run until 2020. It supports researchers from public and private organizations, including small and medium-sized enterprises, enhances EU international research and third country participation, and integrates social sciences and humanities. Funding opportunities are announced in two-year work programs containing calls for proposals. These calls specify in detail the types of projects, thematic areas, budgets, conditions and deadlines for application. Calls are made up of a number of topics. A funding proposal must be submitted for a specific topic. Calls are published on the participant portal. There is a page for each topic including a link to the online service for preparing and submitting proposals. The EU's definition of a consortium is a group of participants, usually from more than one EU member state or associated country, who choose to work together on a research project. The invisible bonds forged by cooperation can act as the cement which helps to make the union stronger. A consortium consists of a coordinator, who will take the lead in the consortium, and other participants that will cooperate to carry out the work described in the proposal. But before proposals are initiated and submitted by the coordinator of the grant, each partner of a specific proposal must be identified by a participant identification code, or PIC. So before submission, all participants must be registered with the details of their organisation in the beneficiary register, also located on the participant portal. Registration is necessary only once for each organization. For any subsequent participation, the existing PIC can be used. As you're probably beginning to understand, the participant portal is the one-stop shop for our external collaborators, where they can see the proposal calls, register their organization, submit a proposal, and interact with the EU should their proposal be chosen for funding. The submitted proposals are initially vetted for eligibility. Eligibility criteria include, among others, relevance to the published call and submission before the deadline. For most calls, any consortium must have at least three participants from at least three EU member states or associated countries. All eligible proposals will be evaluated. Proposals must be evaluated by people who have a high level of expertise in the relevant field. We refer to these people as experts. Experts need to have skills and knowledge appropriate to the areas in which they will offer advice and to have a high level of professional experience in the public or private sector. People interested in working as an expert for the EU can register their expert profile in the experts area of the participant portal. If they are selected to evaluate a proposal, they will be offered a contract through the participant portal and can submit their payment requests after the work is done also through the participant portal. The proposals are evaluated on the basis of the criteria excellence, impact and quality and efficiency of implementation. In order to ensure that only proposals of the highest quality are selected for funding, the European Commission relies on independent external experts, both evaluators and observers, for the evaluation of these proposals. At the end of the evaluation phase, the proposals submitted for a specific call are ranked. On the basis of this ranking, the EU decides which proposals will be funded. Invitation letters are sent to the successful applicants. If an applicant is successful, the EU will nominate a project officer, who will manage the grant agreement preparation and will monitor the progress of the project during its entire life cycle. The EU will draw up a contract, known as a grant agreement, with the consortium. The consortium and the project officer, on behalf of the EU, will discuss the technical details of the contract via the grant management service in the participant portal. When both sides have agreed upon the contract, it can be signed electronically in the participant portal. The project is then underway. It starts with a pre-financing payment by the EU to the consortium to cover startup costs. A small percentage of the grant is placed in a guarantee fund. This fund is to offset losses caused in the event of a participant becoming insolvent during a project. The duration of the project is divided into several periods and specified in the grant agreement. 
At the end of each period, the consortium submits a report to the project officer with the results and the costs incurred during this period. The EU conducts a review using independent experts if required to ensure that all the agreed deliverables have been provided to the standards agreed in the grant agreement. If this is the case, the consortium is paid for the period. This process continues for each period until the project is completed. At the end of the grant, the consortium submits a final report including results and publications, if any. Then the final payment is calculated, including the money placed in the guarantee fund. The project is now finished. However, during the full duration of the contract and up to two years after the grant is terminated, any participant can be audited by the EU Audit Service in order to check whether the costs declared are in line with the financial provisions defined in each specific grant agreement. This is to ensure that all public funding is properly accounted for. Note that it is always a beneficiary who is audited and not a project. A summary of the final project results and conclusions is made public through CORDIS, a dedicated website used to disseminate all EU-funded research activities.